I wish I had somewhere to go. I'm going straight to the sofa. I'm gonna eat some food. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So we have another hair video. <laughs> I'm gonna just let it speak for itself because baby, this is giving everything. This wig is absolutely gorgeous. Like it kind of reminds me of a shorter, more even fuller version of my hair. And we all know I love stuff that looks super natural or I'm wilding out and going super big and curly. So I think this unit is, look, I'm getting into too much already. If you want to know more about it, then you got to watch the video. Before we get into it, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do a lot of makeup videos, mostly makeup, but we throw in some hair, some wigs, some nails, a little bit of everything related to beauty. So if you love that kind of stuff, join the family, hit that subscribe button. If you want to know more about this hair, get into all the details of it and see how I installed it, stay tuned and keep on watching. All right guys, so you know I like to start off showing this purple box. Purple is my favorite color, so love it. It comes in this drawstring bag, and there is a net, the mesh that comes on the wig. This is it straight out of the pack, and it does not look like what it looks like in the beginning of this video, so I did have to do a little work. It is a silky texture. You see that it has a four by four parting space across the front, and then there are two combs on the side, and then there is also this adjustable band that is already sewn in, which I love, and this comb in the back. On the mannequin head, you can kind of see the potential playing with the hair, just trying to get an idea of how I'm going to style it. The front of it, eh, it's a little pre-plucked, but definitely not enough. I've gotten more comfortable plucking my wigs, so I am going to pluck this one a little bit just to make it look more real. I cut the lace off just on the mannequin head. I feel like it's easier for me to do that sometimes. It is light, so I'm gonna have to use some powder. And this is the hair that I pulled out when I tweezed it. So not too much, but you can see that it definitely made an effect on what the hairline looks like. So yeah, if you're a little nervous about that, there are plenty of videos on how to tweeze and make your hairline look real. You can see right now I have my part, my wig grip on the wrong side, so I am going to switch that, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of powder in the lace. This is a Makeup Forever powder that is too old to put on my face, so we're gonna use it for my wigs. I really just put the powder in the front of the hairline and in the part. Putting it on, I was happy to see that the lace looked good once it was tinted with the powder. I just had a little trouble making sure I got the band on correctly in the back. So struggle with that a little bit. And it does fit very snug, so you are going to love that. I do see that this wig has the potential to be worn glueless, but I am gonna show later that I did go ahead and use some spray just to make sure it stayed down and looked flawless. So I'm just getting it positioned on my head right now. You can see it is a closure, so there is no lace on the sides. So you do need to use your hair to cover that area versus being able to pull your hair back or anything like that. But once it's on my head and I start playing with it a little bit, I see it and I'm like, okay, we can make this work. It's cute. Reminds me of my hairstyle, which is pretty simple, but this just has a little more sass to it. So I'm just gonna brush it a little bit, still trying to get an idea, but I am excited. All right guys, so this is what the wig looks like on my head. I need a little more powder on the lace, but overall, I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna put some powder here in the part. I did go in with my wax stick and try to flatten this out feel like the weft right here, like the track that's right here is a little thick or something. I don't know. So it felt like when I was trying to flatten it, I couldn't really get this side as flat, but 
think it's going to be okay. I do like how the top came out. I had to go through and flatten that as well. But I really like the volume of this. And I'm going to recurl the sides because I just didn't like how it was kind of going all over the place. But this is a cute little bob. It's not too thick. I'm going to show you the back before I do anything to it. So this is what we have so far. And my hair is pretty flat in the back. So I think that's cute. And then as you can see, it's angled towards the front. So you can do this just kind of straight like this if you want to and then put you a little bang. That's cute or whatever. So we're going to go ahead and style it. Um, this is the hair that I plucked out of the front. This is probably the most hair I've ever plucked out of a wig. So I'm going to go ahead and use a little got to be spray or my little ORS, my ORS spray. And I'm going to see how well I can melt this. I'm going to give you, I gave you all the specs, but just to tell you a little more about the wig, if you decided to skip past that part, this one is called the Celebrity Style Shortcut Side Part Closure Lace Wig. This is in 10 inches. Yeah, this one's 10. They have an 8 inch option as well. And as you saw from, well, should have seen, it does have the 4x4 parting space. And like I showed y'all earlier, it is a closure. So there is no lace all the way across the front. So... I mean, I think this style is cute. This is kind of like my hair, a little shorter, so should be pretty easy to work with. I did go through and pluck the front a little bit more, so this does look a lot better. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get her laid down. Right now she's showing in the 10 inches that it's $160, but y'all know Love Me always has a code. They always come through with the discount, so check it out. I will have the link in the description box as well as my affiliate code, which does mean I get a small commission or maybe it's just a discount. I don't even think I have a commission with them guys, but you do get a little bit off. So check that out if you want to see it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish styling this and then give you guys my final thoughts. I absolutely love using this ORS Fix It Liquid Fix Spritz Gel. It's like a gel, but you get to spray it. This is one of my favorite products to use when I'm actually glue in a wig down and it dries really fast and doesn't have a lot of residue. So I'm just using my Revlon dryer to dry the gel quickly and then I am going to tie it with an elastic band just to help it further melt into my skin. And that is it. I curled it a little bit just flipping the side back away from my face and I'm in love. All right guys, so this is it for the final look. I ain't even gonna lie, I've been taking pictures. <laughs> and having fun. I don't know why it took me so long to film this hair, but I absolutely love it. I was worried I think about the front too much. I don't know, but this style is so cute. Like it kind of makes me want to cut my hair again. I don't know. Let me give you guys the full view. I didn't do too much. I probably could have curled this side a little bit more, but because I had so much going on on this side, I didn't want this to stick out too much. So this is the side. And then this is the back. I think it's such a cute length. And then this side is where the action is. I didn't have to cut anything. I just curled it away from my face and then just kind of let it feather and do what it wanted to do. This little bang action and then just keep the front covered a little bit. And this is it. This hair is gorgeous. It's really soft. The density is perfect. Like I couldn't have asked for anything better. Let me get my phone, reiterate all the details to you guys because I don't even think it tells the density. And let me see, 150 density, natural black, adjustable straps, 22 and a half inch cap, four by four lace. And it is just the Swiss medium brown lace. This does come with the strap in the back if you wanna to try to wear it glueless. But I did use my spray. Where'd she go? I already put it up. My ORS wig fix spray. Love that. And then I used the bedhead hardhead extreme hold just to kind of melt it a little bit more. But y'all, I think this looks good. I don't know about y'all, but look, I wish I had somewhere to go. I'm going straight to the sofa. I'm going to eat some food and then probably try to film another video. But yeah, this hair is perfect. 
absolutely love it. It's going to be great for the summer. Thank you, Love Me Hair, for sending me this wig to review. Absolutely love it. Y'all check out the description box if you want more information. Comment below. Tell me what you think about it. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.